Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another episode of first impression slash review on one brand makeup and this is Wet n Wild. And I'm so excited for today because it's been a while since I did this type of video and the last time I did it was the Maybelline full face makeup and of course guys if you you haven't seen that yet i will link it down below and i'm so excited on this product because this again this is one of the most affordable product out there and most of these products uh are new to me some of them i already used and i like them and uh, most of them no so i'm so excited to try them on and also, um, I don't want you guys to miss everything or anything on this video. So everything will be listed in the description box. The shades, the prices, Philippine prices, if that is available. If that specific product is available in the Philippines. And also, US dollars. So let's get started. Hello, so um, as usual, we prep our skin with a moisturizer and now we're going to move on to uh, their primer and I got this Wet n Wild Photo Focus Water, Water Drop Primer. This is Cucumber. I think they have a different, well, I know I saw it. They have different um, flavor and I got the cucumber because I like the scent but I never opened this so let's try it on. Oh no, it's green. Mm. It smells good. <laughs> it's all over my fingers. Goodness, and my table, my desk. It's a little watery, but I don't know the claims on this actually. Uh, apply on clean skin. Okay, cream to water formula. That's why. The watery uh, texture, yeah, but it's a little, uh, what do you call this? Oily too. So, yeah. But it's okay. You know. This is this is cheap and we'll see if it's gonna have a longevity. Feels good. Feels hydrated. So, okay, for the foundation, uh, I got their Photo Focus Stick Foundation and this is in the shade Soft Ivory. Well, I think this is my color. I am not sure, but uh, I also got their uh, Photo Focus uh, Liquid Foundation and here I'm in the shade soft beige and this is a little darker on my skin now so the i got the lighter one so we'll see if this is gonna match when i use stick foundation i always use a flat brush like this i got the it cosmetics and also when i use my uh, hourglass uh, foundation stick one of my favorite uh, cream foundation too. I used this uh, artist brush. This is actually a gift from my mother-in-law. I can't afford this. It's expensive. So, and I use this this little guy right here, and it glides perfectly. I think I might no. I'm gonna use this other side, the, this one on the other side, and the it cosmetics one on the other side. Paddle brush here, and then flat brush here. 
Mm. That's weird. I think that's too much. Let's do this side first of my face. Okay, um, it's creamy. And this shade, I don't know if you see on the camera, I think it matches my, my neck, so yeah. Let's do the other side with a flat brush and let's see if it's, if it's gonna be a, a little better. I don't know about this foundation though. I love their their liquid though but I don't know we'll see okay next moving on to the concealer and I got the air photo focus concealer photo focus concealer and this is in the shade light ivory too oh I got the soft ivory on the foundation and this is the light ivory i hope this will match too so i don't like the smell it's a little strong let's also put something here and this is peachy color it's perfect for your under eyes it blends out nicely and easily it's not that full coverage but i like how it blends easily i love that so far i like the concealer and next uh we're gonna move on to their photo focus i just noticed most of these products are in the photo focus line but that's their popular popular line so yeah i got their photo focus translucent powder loose powder and this is their translucent uh they have the banana one but i did not get it it looks like it's gonna be dark darker than my my skin tone so just to be safe i got their translucent one so let's try this on or apply this i'm just gonna use a big brush to apply that all over my face hmm, i like this one so i don't have the shininess on my face from that stick foundation anymore yep it's translucent i like it let's bronze our face now now this one i already had this before and uh but i don't remember the the consistency and the if it's any good so i bought another one uh this is their wet and wild mega glow contouring palette contour so it's duo this one is in the shade i hope i can see the shade this is caramel toffee yeah caramel toffee so let's peel this off so we're gonna use this this one the brown one mm -hmm. oh yeah i remember this is really intense so make sure you are careful yep you have to use a fluffy fluffy brush for this because it's really really intense super pigmented it's not bad right the the color the shade it's fine it's okay nothing special but of course it's affordable and it looks like i actually have that the mark jacobs one they look the same i mean 
the inside of the pan they are the same i think it's the same size of the pan but of course that one is this is plastic that one is a little luxurious uh the packaging is luxurious because it's high end so. but i'd rather get this if you're on a budget okay oh uh, don't forget oh don't forget the nose we're gonna use this to contour the nose too move on to the blush and this is there wet and wild color icon blush and this is in the shade mellow wine yep it's a little dark we'll see hmm. yeah just be careful it's a little patchy, but I think that's from the the foundation. I did not like the foundation. Moving on to the eyebrows. And I got there. Their ultimate brow retractable brow pencil. And it this is in the shade. I think this is medium brown. I'm not sure. Medium brown, yeah. Let's open it up. And this this one looks like the the one from Anastasia, the not the not the precise one, not the tiny tip one, but yeah, I had that, but I gave it away because I did not like it because it's it's fat, you know. But this is the only uh, one that they have at the store so i'm gonna give it another try and let's see if the formula is as good as the anastasia one and it has spoolie too on the other end so let's do that this one is okay um it blends easily but it's too creamy for my liking um, I like my Maybelline better than this. Now, moving on to the eyes. So, we have this. The Wet n Wild Color Icon Comfort Zone. That's the shade, Comfort Zone. And it looks like this. It's pretty. Now, I just noticed that it only has two matte colors on this color that i got it says here transition so we're gonna uh, apply this one first the transition one i don't know what color this is it's the number one hmm. i like the formula it blends easily too so I'm just on the first shade. Alright, done. And then we're gonna use a flat brush like this. Then we're gonna go to this color, dark color. It also says transition, and this is the number 10. We're gonna apply that on the outer V of our lid so it has dimension this is just gonna be a simple look the color is like uh maroonish brown i don't know if i like that uh da, da, da. we'll see this is the darkest matte matte color that they have on this palette so we'll see now i think we're just gonna we're just gonna do uh, a simple one i'm gonna use this one this color right here that one is like a silver silver shimmer let me use this brush it's like a flat brush but it's a little fluffy 
add a little more um, dark on the on this part yeah not bad I'm not mad okay now let's move on to the lower lashes I'm just gonna get a flat brush like this and dip it onto the dark transition color it's called transition the maroonish brownish one so can apply that on the lower lash line and then blend it with the transition shade the light transition shade And now let's move on to the eyeliner. Uh, I got there. Break up proof waterproof retractable gel, gel eyeliner. This is in the shade black is black. We're gonna apply that on the waterline. Okay. Gel eyeliner. Waterproof. I like waterproof. Let's apply that on the waterline. I'm not seeing black. Okay, this is not opaque. It's a decent color, but it's not the blackest black eyeliner. Guys, excuse my this side of my hand. It's actually dry. It looks like I punched someone, but this is dry. I don't know why. It's actually weird. I always wash my hand, but this is okay and this is not. See, it's red, it's cracking. I always put moisturizer or lotion. For the mascara, we have the Mega Volume Waterproof Mascara. And this is in the shade Very Black. I like it, the packaging. It's pink. Nice. So let's curl our lashes first. Let's add this little guy. Alright, the mascara is not bad. It's it actually lengthens my my eyelashes, but I still like my Maybelline. It's still my favorite, but it's not bad. I like it. What do you guys think? Huma baba yung aking pilik mata. Comment down below. <laughs> All right, and now let's move on to the lipstick. Now I have three of these, and this is their Mega Last Liquid Cat Suit Matte Lipstick. And I have again, I have three. I already opened the other one, and that one is red, so it's in the room now. And uh, I use that on one of my song covers on my channel. So check that one out my first tagalog song cover on my channel so check that out and that's the red one and i also have uh the color rebel rose and nudist peach so we're just gonna use one i actually use this already too i have the I have the old one and that's already dried dried out that's why I bought a new one I already know the consistency of this one I like it it's comfortable on the lips and I want to try some more colors though I like the red one too it's opaque and how about we use this one the nudist paint uh peach yeah I think it's gonna look good on the eye look what do you guys think yeah Let's try this on and this one i use this on one of my videos too let me use this lipstick on this sun cover there you go very nice i like the color and let's just try this on the nudist peach the doe foot actually has uh it like it, it hugs your your lips This is not gonna look good on me. <laughs> uh -uh. 
I don't know if I like this one. And this color is patchy. It's not opaque. Well, it's only one layer, but I don't like the shade on me. Might be on a different skin tone, but not mine. I don't know why. What do you guys think? I'm just gonna wear the or apply the Rebel Rose and you guys see it's beautiful. I told you guys I like this one better. So what do you guys think? It's a perfect everyday color. Perfect for any eye makeup too. So that and actually this is only one coating too. One layer. So all good. And finally for the highlighter, no, not finally. The, we have one more product, don't worry. And this is their Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powder. And this is in the shade. What's the shade? Well, I had this for, okay, there. Precious Petals. This color is, this shade is actually popular. Um, and look at this guys it's, it's beautiful the the embossed thing it's beautiful I had this a long time ago and I've been using it I like it uh, I discovered this from Kathleen lights I bought it it's affordable and I liked it I'm pretty sure you guys will like it too So let's apply this highest points of the cheeks voila I'm not okay. I'm not gonna add on my nose anymore because I don't want to disturb that foundation that I have there. It's starting to crack now. Side of the nose. I don't like this foundation. I really don't. And finally, setting spray. And also, I had this uh, in a while, but never, never use it. And this is their photo focus finish. Or a natural finish setting powder and according to toddy uh this is only it's a, a regular setting spray i don't know if it locks everything together but it feels good that's what he she claims well i don't remember because that was a long time ago so let's set everything together all right um final verdict on this product let's see um okay let's uh go first on the primer this is just okay uh it's hydrating it smells good i would um definitely uh use this again so it's a yes on this primer now for the foundation stick unfortunately right off the bat i did not like the consistency and uh since I have a combination skin, uh, I tend to uh, oil up on the T-zone and I have a normal to dry skin on the rest of my face. So it cracks up on this area of my face. I did not like it and it's not even an hour since I uh, apply it and it's, you know, it's cracking on my face. I did not like it. No, no, for the foundation. For the concealer, uh, yes blends well but it's not full coverage but it's okay if it's gonna be an everyday use why not it's affordable yes for the concealer and uh, for the powder also I love this one guys so I might uh, try the banana shade next time I go to the store uh, I'm gonna grab that one so yes for the powder also and this one uh i'll pass on the bronzer um hmm. i did not like well for the bronzer guys uh honestly speaking i don't like uh opaque i know it's not a problem but for me i have like sometimes i have um heavy handed so i tend to you know if it's um it's a pigmented um powder product no <laughs> so 
No, no for, for the bronzer, the contouring powder. I love my e.l.f. and Maybelline one, so I'm good with those. And for the blush, it's okay. This one is okay. Uh, I'm gonna, am I gonna reach for it? Uh, probably not if, if I don't see it on my vanity, so yeah. Now the eyeshadow. I like the eyeshadow. Yeah, yes, this one, uh, I'm gonna play with it more for the different shades. I like it, the blendability. It's nice, compact. I can I can actually use this for travel. So yes, yes, yes. Uh, eyeliner, no, no for the eyeliner. I mean this one. This is the eyeliner now. This is the brow. Yes, yes for this. Um, but it's still creamy. But I'll give it another try. I'll give it a chance. And mascara, okay. This one is okay. But I love my Maybelline better than this but I'm still gonna use this I paid for it so yeah this one and also of course in love with the highlighter the lipstick yes but not the but not this color though the nudist peach no I don't like this I like the rebel rose and the red one the red one that I got so yeah setting spray I'm just gonna finish this. I'm not gonna grab another one, but it's okay, you know? So, it's up to you guys if you want my recommendations, but at least you guys have an idea on the Wet n Wild products that I just reviewed. So, I hope you guys enjoy this video, and every time I am doing a sit-down video like this, make a video like this, I always tell you guys to stay safe hydrate yourself stay healthy and be happy all the time i will see you guys on my next one bye